The topic of this video is Solving Exponential Growth and Decay Problems. This is a continuation of the previous video. All right, let's briefly recap. We've got a colony of mosquitoes that's growing. We tried to use the short method using patterns to solve both of these questions. We were able to use patterns to solve part A, but not part B, which means now we have to use the exponential law equation to solve part B. We discovered that A was 2, the adder, and M, the multiplier, was 1.9. All right, let's begin. The exponential law equation says a of t equals a naught e to the kt power. Okay, let's start filling in what we know. Uh, from the previous video, we know that when the number of mosquitoes, uh, excuse me, that when the time uh, was zero, the number of mosquitoes was 1,000. So what that's telling me is the value of a naught, the starting amount. A for amount, the naught or the zero is telling me that the time is zero. So amount when time is zero. So that tells me that now I'm dealing with A of t equals 1,000 e to the k t power. Okay, the next thing is k. There are two equations for k. We have to pick the correct one. k is equal to the natural log of m over a or k is equal to the natural log of 1 over d, all divided by a. Well, in this particular problem, we're dealing with growth, which means we have an a and an m. So we're going to use the top equation. So I'm going to get rid of the bottom one. We won't need it for this problem. And so that tells us that k is equal to the natural log of m, which is 1.9, all divided by a, which is 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that up here in my uh, list of data. So k is equal to the natural log of 1.9 all divided by 2. And when we get to a part of the problem where we need to know the value of k, we'll plug in for k. Okay, so now what we have is an equation where we know the starting amount. E is a mathematical constant. We know the value of k. The only thing we don't know is amount and time. So if someone gives us the time, we can find the amount. And if someone gives us the amount, we can find the time. Well, part B says, when will there be 70,000 mosquitoes? So what that's really saying is t equals question mark when a of t, the amount, is equal to 70,000. So we just have to plug in. So we get 70,000 equals 1,000 e to the k t. We want to solve this for t. We're going to use skills that we've learned in previous videos. The first thing we need to do is to get rid of this 1,000. So divide by 1,000 on both sides. Now our equation is going to say 70,000 divided by 1,000, which is just 70, equals e to the kt power. We're trying to solve for t. t is up in the exponent. When what you are looking to solve for is up in the exponent, use your converter. The converter is right here. We have a base, which is e, an exponent, which is kt, and an argument, which is 70. Match up the colors and shapes. So on the other side, we'll have log base e of 70 equals kt. And that's what we'll write as our next line of algebra. Log base e of 70 equals kt. Of course, log base e is a natural log. So then I have the natural log of 70 equals kt. And if I want to know what t equals, then I just have to divide by k on both sides. So I will divide by k here and here. And I get that t is equal to the natural log of 70 all divided by k. Now, of course, I know what k is. I found k earlier in this problem using my formula. So now what I can do is write that t is equal to the natural log of 70 divided by the natural log of 1.9 over 2. And the way I'm going to choose to do that is I'm going to write it here as a fraction, but when I put it in my calculator, I'm going to put it in using parentheses. So this is the natural log of 1.9 divided by 2. And I'll put that whole denominator 
in parentheses so that I make sure that I'm following order of operations. Now I'm expecting to get a value that is somewhere between 12 and 14. So if I get something that's not in that range, then that tells me that I've made a mistake. All right, let's put this in our calculator. First, natural log of 70. So I'll hit the LN button, 70, and close my parentheses. Next, my division bar. So I'm going to hit the division key. Next, I'm going to put in all these parentheses here. So open parenthesis for the whole denominator, open parenthesis just for my log, LN, 1.9, now, when I hit the LN button, it gives me open parentheses, so I'm going to close those parentheses on my argument. Then, divide 2 and close parentheses one more time. When I hit enter, I get 13.2382, etc., etc., etc. 13.2382, etc., etc., etc. And then we would go to the problem instructions and we would look for what are we supposed to round two. Well, this problem didn't include any rounding instructions, so I'll just make some up right now, and we'll say that we're going to round this to uh, three decimal places. So our answer is 13.238 days. That's how long it will be before there are 70,000 mosquitoes. Okay, let's just briefly recap. So in this problem, we learned that we can use both the short way and the long way in a single problem. The short way is finding a pattern. The uh, table had us adding in the uh, time column and multiplying by 1.9 in the amount column. And by following the pattern, we, will we were able to answer part A to find that the number of mosquitoes after six days was 6,859. But that did not work in helping us get the answer to part B. So with part B, we had to turn our attention to the exponential law equation a of t equals a naught e to the kt. We took the values that we learned from our short way, a equals 2 and m equals 1.9, and plugged them into our equation for k, which is the natural log of m all divided by a. We plugged in our starting amount of 1,000, and by solving for t, we were able to get the number of days it would take for there to be 70,000 mosquitoes, 13.238 days.